because of my role as a uh, as dev on the team, my role kind of comes after the creatives. So prior to the creatives being completed, I kind of have to stay by the sidelines and just work on these uh, systems. So I've been having a lot of time to just kind of think about what kind of systems can be integrated. So this one is quite interesting in my opinion, at least. A bunch of code. This is all hardwired into the VR pond, so the player itself will be able to maneuver with all this. Right now, it's still very experimental. The, the origin of this system comes from the player itself. It's not attached to an item like a gun, but the, the essentials of this is that it's a grappling hook system. So the way it works, these inputs here, grab left, grab right, I, I've uh, put those as the triggers. So when you pull the trigger, it starts, goes into a line trace for objects node. What this node is doing right now is saying whatever it hits, take note of it and record it for the player. So what we do is we take the camera's direction, we take where the camera is located, we take the forward vector of it, where it's looking, we essentially do some vector math with the location of it to determine for how long you want to trace. So this setup here, the primary camera location, forward vector going to line tracer objects, it's saying start from the camera and trace to where the camera ends. And of course, the, the distance of that trace, I've set to a default of 5,000. It's just about that big change, depends on how long you want it. And it, of course, makes an array of all the world static and world dynamic objects that I hit. So if an object is tagged as world static, it'll mark it. If it's tagged as world dynamic, it'll also mark it. If it's anything else, it will not mark. Coming out of the line trace, we go into a branch condition. The condition being if it hits something. So if it hits a world static or world dynamic object, a, the condition is true. If not, it goes to false. So covering false is the easiest. If it doesn't hit a world static, world dynamic object, stop grappling. However, if it does hit something, set the variable to true that it's attached to something and set the hook location to where it hit. So that's done by a break hit location from the line tracer object, it hits something, we break down that hit and we take the location of it and we just put the hook there and that's how you create the hook. So this is how the grappling mesh itself works because what this does is essentially tells the engine to project you to that location. But this here is the actual grappling hook of it. Now the V-interp node is used to kind of bring you to the location given a set amount of time. So right now we set the, the speed to 250 and we have it as an event tick, meaning that for every delta second within the game as, it, as it's running, it's constantly calculating whether or not you're hooking onto something. If it hooks onto something, we go into two conditions. The first true condition is if the hook is attached to something. If it is attached to something, we go into a second branch condition. Has the hook move finished? Meaning that are you still moving with the hook or have you reached your destination? And if it's true, just move the player. And you set that player to that new location. If it's false, move the rope and you set it to be finished. So you loop back to the original branch condition and move the player. Uh, so it's, a, it's kind of a, a, a cyclic blueprint, but it's quite simple. You kind of like wrap your head around how it works. How we're gonna integrate this is unclear. It could make for a good Easter egg system, but for the time being, this is more or less a system that has been made to be put on hold. If it's integratable, it'll be integrated. If not, it's whatever. It's fine. We have plenty of other systems to mess with.